Hi friends, welcome to my video. With budget bills, what is it to get arena bonus heroes? This time we have four. George from Grand Hero Battle, Fear and Ogma from the 3 and 4 star summoning pool, and the free hero Charina. I already did one of these for Charina. You can find that video and all my other budget build videos in the link in the description. Here we go. George is an infantry blue archer. He has good attack and defense, okay resistance, and bad speed. He comes with the personal Daniel Maid Bow, accelerating George's special with effectiveness against flyers, and granting extra attack to nearby allies during combat, while debuffing nearby opponents too. He also comes with Ignis, Chill Defense, and Attack Opening. George is a pretty good sword unit and tank. His speed makes it hard for him to one round opponents, but he'll have no trouble killing them with a special trigger. Keep his weapon, give him reposition, and keep his special. Give him distant defense, bracing stance, or brace and defense resistance for the A slot. Keep his B skill, or give him renewal or guard. And keep his C skill, or give him attack smoke. And for the seal, I give him either distant defense or defense resistance bond. Not having a distant counter effect hurts George somewhat, but he'll still be a pretty decent unit for this arena season. At your service. Ogma is an infantry sword unit. He has good attack, okay speed and defense, and bad resistance. He comes with the personal Gladiator's Blade, with the Heavy Blade effect, and a refinement that gives him extra attack and speed, as long as a flying or infantry ally is within two spices of Ogma. He also comes with Noon Time, Defined Attack, and a Spore Attack. Ogma is a pretty good offensive unit, with great offensive stats if you can fulfill his weapon's condition. Keep his weapon with a special refinement, give him reposition, and swap his special for Glimmer. Swap his A skill for Life and Death or Fury, Give him the Desperation for the B slot, and any buff for the C slot. And for the seal, I give him Swift Sparrow for even more offensive stats. Thanks to his weapon's effect, Ogma will be able to have Glimmer at charge after only one attack. So with Desperation active, he should be able to kill most enemies on the second hit when initiating, without getting hit back. His defenses won't be great though, so don't leave him exposed to an enemy face. Here, it comes. Here is also an infantry sword unit, he has bad attack and defense, good speed, and okay resistance. She comes with Nameless Blade, Accelerating Fierce Special, and with the refinement that grants her the Gudao effect. She also comes with Glaciers, Speed Plus 3, and Pass. Fierce Base Kit is pretty bad, and because of her low attack, most of her damage will come from her special. She's not great without investment, but she can be okay against dragons. Keep her weapon with the special refinement, give her a position for the assist, and stop her special for Iceberg. Swap her A skill for Mirror Stance or a Resistance Bond skill. Swap her B skill for Renewal or Guard. And give her Attack Smoke for the C slot. And for the seal, just give her another Resistance Bond skill. Here we'll be able to tank some dragons, and if she ever gets a special trigger, she'll do a lot of damage. If you'd like to invest a little more on Fear, giving her a Wrath build will make her a pretty decent nuke. The path of the sword. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, it really helps. Here you can see my schedule for the week, and here you can find some of my other videos. Or you can go to my main YouTube page where I have everything organized. Stay safe, be kind, and see you next time!